internet satellites. Yeah. Yeah. SpaceX, yeah. Sand. High quality, high uh, bandwidth internet. Up in the sky where you point your dish at them, you know, and that's 25,000 views in a quarter second every time a piece of information goes up and down, and no, uh, no latency. But they move very, very fast at that fast speed rail for several minutes on each pass. So you have to have thousands of them to cover the whole Earth. When people who are on airplanes, cruise ships, are going to have to and get connected, you get a question. Small sats. So uh, cube sats are a standard put together by a couple of three U configurations, and they're kind of shoebox size. You replace them, which is good because you replace them with better technology. One of the problems we have, we're moving to a, uh, a more replaceable satellite center. Uh, yeah, what countries won't like that? Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Scott, and you can go Google International Space Station flyover. Thousands of satellites up there instead of hundreds. When you look first time in electricity, change the, uh, uh, the view of the Earth, but uh, they're going to have to work that out. $400 million with orbital ATK. Orbital doesn't have to make up the first part of that uh, that lunar gateway project at the same time, so they have to compete with each other to get better and cheaper. Plus five and keep the space station going. If it wasn't for these two companies, because we did not get our replacement vehicle going when the shuttle retired. In 2016, they were fueling up for an engine test. So I'm going to separate out that service module. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to see them do this, but they're going 100 miles an hour uh, through the atmosphere uh, and launch that skateboard out of a carbon fiber scrap for $700,000 worth of brand new carbon fiber. We're going to throw. I connected with Ryan. Uh, I decided that it, uh, another company that came out of the RPL, um, Space Council, the group within the White House that runs our national space policy business, they've got everything they need, they're going all the way to space, they've got over 100 employees, they were just, I feel they have helped mentor them for years and, and see where uh, our other technology startups used to do. Actually generating some revenue this year, so I'm sure the people in New Mexico are grateful that we take with them because we love Charlie, I'm happy to say Charlie and his chief, it's not about them versus Republicans, it's California versus Alabama or so I had the, the interesting experience of being in D.C. in space policy. His appointees would go into the agencies, and at 12.01 after that, in the uh, inauguration, well, there were a thousand people on all the agency review. I'm just, I'm holding my thumb, right? Because it's a federal holiday. And, and uh, this person is giving us the uh, oath of defending the Constitution. Riverside, Mark and I went to high school. Uh, he's a very liberal the staff. Uh, because when Mark got elected, uh, we talked and didn't have a lot of money and no political throwaway, they get on the site. They're lucky enough to have Ken McCarthy's district out near Mojave where the Air NASA administrator who runs NASA and is leading the Artemis program. Jim Brighton's video off anyway because he fell off. But I was actually pretty impressed.